Hi, welcome. I just uh, made a new ISO, the future ISO. You know, we have uh, two months release, so the next ISO will be for January, but we're already working on it. It's already created and you know the drill, you can build it as well. But basically, um, well, every two months we release our ISOs and you can have a look at it here. So if you forget, this is what's going to happen. I need to update, right? Mid-January 2021. Let's put a date on it. So 2021. Yeah, then we need to go to January. Let's agree that on the 16th of January, we try to release another um, ISO. Point is, um, I want you to... I want I have a what if in my head, a what if, a thing that I uh, wanted to learn already, wanted to try out. And today on our system, so this is actually built with the Arcon Lakes Git. So if you want to build it, that's what I was actually saying about building, right? So Arco Linux built. Our beta testers have access to this particular ISO. But the other guys have to build it, right? Arcolix ISO, DB. So this is the Arcolix ISO. Yeah, let's um, shut down Telegram. Close Telegram and close Discord. So you have to go to a certain GitHub, a place on the internet. You git clone it and it's that. But there is more. So there is this one. And this particular virtual box that I've created is based on something else. It's um, an extra different one. There's an ISO, there's an ISO next, Arcon XD, lots of things in here. All possible ISOs, right? Anything with ISO, basically. If you start typing ISO, you can have a look at it. So this one is the official one. And the one we're experimenting with is this one. It has the latest calamars, the latest configurations and so on. So Two hours ago, I seem to have put something online, and this is the ISO. Now, just general information. What I want to do, because of um, the latest and newest Calamars, we have a possibility, and I've done that. I've, in, I've used the possibility to use a swap file. In the drop down, it's the fourth option. Now, my what if that's in my head is increase swap file right increase swap ubuntu and i always say go read anything from red hats ubuntu whatever it doesn't matter it's all linux so i have this article just the first one although if this is not working taking another one and so on right change swap size in ubuntu okay we have something some knowledge from from somebody and at this point in time, Calamars, and it will surely change, it's a fixed size, right? We, we had first to figure out what's the, how is it done, right? The technicality, how is it done? A slider to make 512 to 1000 to 4 gigs and so on. Yeah, that's later. It has to work first. Oh my God, what all of this? Um, so, okay, change swap size. So let's have some fun and figure that out. All right, let's become smarter, right? That's why we do this project. Learn, enjoy why we learn, and later on, have fun. So the swap file, it might be a good time for me to tell you that there's an important file, FS step file system, and it points, of course, to whatever you're having. And here it says swap file, swap, swap, defaults, no time. And this is my root x4 that's important we don't we're not going to change it, but it's just an important file <clears throat> let's see we have to turn off all the swap processes mm -hmm. so i have already one so we are going to sudo swap off and then you just <coughs> oh it does it automatically that's nice so, but it says here minus A, right? So, if we want to become smarter, <coughs> you go and have a read. 
disable all swaps from profit swaps. Okay, cool. Remember now, it's just all. Done that. Now let's go to root ls minus al, right? Where's my swap file? Here it is. So it's still there. Okay. Then resize the swap. sudo dd if. And then probably you're starting to wonder what all these things are. So man dd is a good one. And then we go to. So if and of. Let's take those two. Where are you guys? Here it is. Read from file instead of standard in and of is write to file instead of standard out. Put zeros basically. Device, let's have a look at that command. Man zero. Zero data sync, data written to devs, null zero special files is discarded. Return of the file. Okay. Doesn't really say what it's doing, but sudo dd so if equals the device zero and the output is gonna go inside the swap file and then bs it's one gig. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm reading here at the top that we're in the example, we're going to make it four gigs to eight gigs. So it was already here. Input file, output file, the block size. So one time gigs times eight, count multiplier of the blocks and all the permissions and we're going to use it again. Hmm. <clears throat> well, We have here the number, that's important, so we can compare later on, 536, okay, ps equals 1 gigabyte, and then count, give me 8 of them, these blocks, now something must have happened already, and I can show this, this is exactly, well not exactly, more or less what, what happens on uh, Calamars, and that's why it takes also time to make the swap file. But hey, as long as it works, we're all good. Did I make a typo? It was def0 of equals swap file ps one g count a. Okay, it's just not 512 megabytes, right? So it's just uh, bigger, way bigger, 12 to 60 times bigger gonna take a bit longer and right about now everybody thinks it's crashed but <clears throat> let's be the most patient Linux user out there and wait getting impatient. Really getting impatient. Mm. Mm. Idea. Right. Click here. Ah. Oh, ah, there it is. Okay, but now he's there. Yeah, I know. Okay, he's busy. So he's doing something, right? Otherwise, NeoFetch would be a bit quicker. HTOP. Uh, where is it? HTOP is there, top, top. Hmm. Ah, done. Right, so no need to look at HTOP because the function is finished. So we have 8 gigs copied at a certain speed, actually a good speed. 
that was slow, right? But anyway, be patient. Sudo, schmutz, I'm not think, I don't think it's necessary, the schmutzing. Let's first do in ls, yeah. Swap file is now a little bit bigger. We came from this thing. So here is, how should we read this? This has three and three and three, six numbers. And this one has three and three and three, eight. Okay. So, so it's, it's indeed really eight gigabytes. Uh, per block. It's a bit strange in numbers, but hey, we have a swap file of 8 gigs. Now, he wants to change the schmutz to 600. Is that okay? Well, it's uh, already 4 and 2, which means it's already 600. Oh, oh. So these things are empty. So this one I denote, don't need to do it, you can do it, don't need to do it, because it's okay. We've said it correctly in Arch Linux. Now we make a swap file. Mm, I would actually think I would just need to say on again. Why should I make the swap file? Probably for this. Let's stay in the terminal. Nano etc. Stop. What do we have? <coughs> All right. Is it updated? Unfortunately, we can't see it anymore. All right. I think it's more there to be certain, unless the UUID has changed totally, which I haven't. We, we could check it in the video later on when we go back. But the thing is, you want to it to work right so at this point in time there is no swap hey can we see that at the top at this point swap it says only okay okay at the top here right okay okay it's not okay okay so we say sudo swap on and then swap file normally we say something like def slash def slash sda one two three right so we do this now and let's see if things changed in htop now it says okay a gigabyte right that's that's a better way okay control c and for the rest etc if it isn't already there it is going to be there already check the amount of swap with this we have done htap htop i mean and yeah voila there it is we check it with this sudo swap on. Ah, oh, what was it again? Swap on. Time to forget it. Mm. What did I use all the time? <laughs> you tend to forget stuff, right? Okay. Swap on. Help. And what is it? Summary. Mm -hmm. Damn. It's gone. What was it again? Label. Let me pause. I want to know. Well, I was looking for some kind of switch afterwards, after uh, the line here. But actually, when I type swap on, it just shows me already what I don't need to know, right? Swap file, 8 gigabytes used, 0. So, that's cool. And um, the etc swap file shows us this, but we have other settings, right? The, every operating system I suppose let's go back to nano has its own set of rules swap file swap we have here non and swap and we have swap swap 
S, W, O, O, and we have default number time, zero, zero. All right, <clears throat> so basically, HTOP is still the nicest one. And if we are gonna play around with these things, there is GoTop, if it's installed, it's, it's I think it's GTOP or GoTop, let's have a look. We sudo pacman minus S, and he'll tell me what it is, go top, I don't know. Go top bin, that's it. Okay, that's another one. Because there's so much out there. So that's also a possibility. Do we see swap somewhere? Here it is. Swap zero eight gigs. Control C. There is um, I don't know if NeoFetch actually shows this. The swap. CPU, there is memory, there is no swap. There is go top, there is glances, pseudo pacman minus s glances, right? Glances. Where is the swap? Here's the swap, zero percent. And here is this eight gigabyte. So real cool, everything is just working great out of the box. We became just a little bit smarter and we'll make an article to uh, well summarize what we've done on Arclex slash Arch right? All right, cheers.